My name is Don Tapscott, and I studied psychology with a minor in sociology. Uh, today I run a think tank um, that does research into how new media and the internet changes business and society, and I'm also an adjunct professor at the Rotman School of Management at U of T. Uh, I've written uh, 14 books. I wrote two in the 1980s that my mother bought most of the copies, uh, but I finally I wrote a bestseller in 1992, and that was Paradigm Shift. And uh, subsequently to that, I've written a lot of books that have been read by a, a lot of people. The Digital Economy, Growing Up Digital, uh, Wikinomics, uh, uh, Macroeconomics, and so on. Wikinomics was actually the best-selling management book in the United States for the entire year, and it's been translated into some 28 languages. Although I was recently in Italy and someone handed me a copy of my book in Italian, I didn't know that. So I have a house in Toronto, uh, but I do travel a lot and uh, have a cottage and a place in Miami as well, and now a place in New York too. Uh, but mainly I'm on airplanes and I travel all around the world. I've been to pretty much everywhere. And uh, the reason I go there is I'm doing uh, a lot of lectures for uh, audiences, management, conference audiences, and so on. I'm also doing research into uh, my, my big new project, which is how the internet enables us to solve the world's problems differently. When it comes to the future, I think the future is not something to be predicted, it's something to be achieved. And we're at a turning point right now in human history, where many of the institutions that have served us well for decades or even centuries are are now at various stages of being stalled or frozen or in atrophy or even failing. And arguably, when you look around the world today and you see all the problems that exist, the sovereign debt crisis in Europe, the fiscal crisis in the United States, the volatile global economy, these problems like global warming that we can't seem to fix, arguably, these are all evidence that the industrial age has finally come to its logical conclusion. It's taken us as far as it can, and we need to rebuild all of our institutions now, science, education, uh, the university, um, our models of government, of democracy, of health care, of, of innovation, and the corporation. We need to rebuild them all around a new model and a new set of principles and around this new communications medium that we have today that we call the Internet. Trent was the perfect university for me. Um, it was a liberal arts undergraduate school that had great professors and where I got to interact uh, with my, my colleagues as opposed to just being lectured to. And it was a great time in history too. It was the, uh, the late 60s. Uh, there was nothing that wasn't possible. The world was changing and a new generation, the baby boomers, were coming into the university. And um, every single day at Trent, I was so excited about what I was learning and I was so excited to have the opportunity of collaborating with my, my faculty and, and other students. And when I think about whatever success I've had in life, I, I attribute a lot of that to the experience that I, that I had at Trent because it's not just what you know that's important when you graduate, uh, it's your capacity to think and to solve problems, to put things in context, to understand, to research, to collaborate, to know about the interrelationship between things. And, and that's what an undergraduate liberal arts and science education did for me. Well, when I think about Trent, <laughs> some of my greatest memories uh, center on a band uh, that I created. We had a rock band and I, I funded a lot of my university education playing in this band. It was called John Bull's Other Island. It was with a number of other trans students and we, we practiced in this little cement bunker down at the bottom of Champlain College. But we played big uh, trend events, but we also played in other events in the region. And uh, it was great to not only be a student, but to be a, a rocker. The university knew that we had a rock band and actually provided us with facilities to practice. And they encouraged us to explore different parts of our lives, and that was a really important one for me. Um, being a, a performer, I think, has actually turned out to be helpful for me today, because often I'm standing up in front of a really tough audience or a, a big conference or being on, on television or something like that, and my experience uh, being comfortable on stage is really helpful. Well, I, I love Trent. I mean, it's a fabulous campus, physical environment. Um, it's, a, 
it's based on a set of principles about liberal arts and science and learning that are really important today because, um, you know, in some ways, previous generations, they graduated and they were set for life. Young people today are set for about 15 minutes. And if you took a technical course, half of what you learned in the first year is obsolete by the time you get to the fourth year. So the purpose of undergraduate education is not so much to stuff your head with facts and information that you can recall. The purpose is to enable you to learn lifelong, to be able to think, to be able to, to do research to solve problems. And Trent, to me, is the kind of environment whereby that can take place.